I know this, I mean, you want guys to get bigger and stronger, and that goes without saying. Um, you know, I wanted us to develop a little bit of a mindset. You know, I think uh, Kaz Fazadi, I think, is one of the best uh, strength conditioning coaches in college football. And, and he does a great job of not only getting them bigger, stronger, uh, training them to, to stay healthy, but I think he does a tremendous job of, uh, you know, teaching how to deal with adversity. Uh, just all those little things that we have to learn as a program that separates you from you know, being a, a good program and becoming a great program. So I think we made some strides that way. We still have a long way to go. We've worked hard at developing leadership. So I, I liked our team. Uh, I thought yesterday's practice was really good. I thought we got a little fatigued today. Uh, you know, we've got to continue to get better. You talked in the spring about teaching the basics and sort of teaching your guys how to practice. When you get into a preseason camp like this, what are the first things you dive into with your new bunch? Well, a big part of it's, you know, we've got some pretty uh, important players that didn't go through spin ball. And so, you know, we're trying to get those guys acclimated. You know, and there's a, a little bit of catching up that always has to take place because, you know, they're learning how to practice and it's a little different than maybe they've been accustomed to in the past. So you have those important players, you know, that have to get acclimated and you have your young guys that have to get acclimated. So, you know, um, I, I like the attitude. Uh, the work ethic's been really good. You know, we've just got to continue to get better and better. Our challenge, you know, has been just get 1% better every day. If we can do that, then that'll get us where we want to be. You talked about the guys who missed the spring or were limited in the spring. Can you give any health updates? Jordan yeah. Wyatt and some of the other guys? Yeah, I mean, I think I think Jordan and Kyron are both uh, pretty good shape. You know, we're bringing them along slowly. Um, you know, the, the ideal for both of those guys is to, you know, try to get ready to play September 1st. That's the goal. Um, you know, Bryce Wilds, somebody else that didn't go through spring ball and Bryce is adjusting and learning as well and he's a guy that's going to be important for us on the offensive line. Um, you know, so there's there's a bunch of bodies that we have to get get caught up and then, you know, we've got a lot of grad transfers that we're excited about but same thing, those guys are getting acclimated and trying to figure it out. Is, is Jake Hall okay? Fine. Yeah, yeah I think Jake's got a little bit of a knee sprain. We're going to you know, get him evaluated and see where it goes. You had Roberson out there sometimes running with the ones. Uh, is he eligible? What's his status? Yeah, yeah, he's going to be eligible. Yeah, he got a he got a, uh, a waiver granted by the NCAA, uh, and so he'll be able to play this season. You mentioned the new guys, the guys who went through spring with you in in, uh, in March. Do they know enough that they can help teach the new guys who just arrived, or is everybody so new that they're all sort of at the yeah, same place? Yeah, some of the some of the older guys have done a good job coming in, watching extra film, getting with their coaches. Um, you know, trying to learn as much as they can, as quickly as they can. You know, that's what you want to see. That's when you know you've got a good, a good team. And we're certainly not there yet. Um, but the older guys are starting to become comfortable enough to be able to grab the young guys and say, hey, this, this is how we do it. And when you get to the point where the players are coaching the players, you know, you're in a good, you're in a good situation. Now, we're certainly not there yet. Uh, but there's some guys that you see are starting to get comfortable with the scheme and, and techniques. How big of an addition is Reggie to, uh, to the, the offense? Yeah, Reggie's going to be a big addition for us. I mean, you know, he's a, he's a really talented kid. Uh, the most impressive thing about Reggie is just his toughness and his desire to be a good football player. And he's got a lot of tools, uh, but, but that's what makes him different. It's just he's got a burning desire to be a really good player. And typically, guys with talent like he's got that have that desire to become good players. How much of preseason camp do you dedicate to continuing the teaching process? And at what point do you start to sort out who's going to take bigger roles, who's going to fill starting spots, that kind of thing. Yeah, all that, all that starts to take place. You know, the thing we've always tried to do is, is let that happen naturally. Um, you know, there's a separation that, that occurs at some point during camp, and uh, some players it's different, you know, and, and some teams it's different, but, but it always happens. And so that's, you let that occur naturally. Uh, you don't try to put a time frame on it. And when that happens, usually, you know, you make the right decision. <laughs> Last question. There's this new locker room renovations. How's that help you recruiting? How's that help your football team? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you just look around our facilities, uh, you know, with what's going on here, uh, with the indoor facility getting built, uh, with, with what we did with our offices and meeting rooms and what we did in the locker room. You know, I think it shows a clear commitment to, to football here at SMU. And I really appreciate it, you know, Dr. Turner and your part and Kirk Pot Cotter and, you know, the donors that made it possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it makes a huge difference for our players. I mean, number one, it's a, it's a great sanitary environment for them to, to, 